Lawless Britain is in full swing. Knife crime is up 5% in England and Wales, up 22%. In London, there were just under 14,000 knife offences recorded in London in the year to September 2023. There were 48,716 knife crime offences recorded in England and Wales. Today, a 19-year-old was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder after an apparent stabbing on a train in broad daylight. The alleged knifeman was able to get off that train and evade police for hours. Also today, a man has been arrested on suspicion of two counts of attempted murder and on suspicion of sexual assault after an alleged random attack at another train station. At no stage did the police release a description of the accused attacker to help keep the public safe. In the North East, there has been a 500% increase in sexual offences since 2014. Stalking and harassment has gone up 6,000%. Now, today, it's emerged that a young man has been rampaging through a town in London since January committing a string of sexual assaults, even against girls as young as 12 years old. And only now have the police released an EFIT image of the suspect. An officer said, we believe the suspect is in his late teens or early 20s, and we are working urgently to identify him. Anyone who can help us to do that should contact us immediately. Well, I'm sorry, OK, but he is currently operating in the CCTV capital of England. And the best you can do is a computer-generated image published two months after his first attack. Do you remember Abdul Azidi? It was nearly a full 24 hours before the police released images of him. Quite easily identifiable there, the man with half his face burnt off. They even raided a kebab shop in Newcastle before telling us he'd actually jumped off a bridge in London hours after the attack. I mean, it doesn't fill you with confidence, this, does it? And then today it emerged that detectives are hunting heartless thieves who stole a specially converted van used by a terminally ill boy. The crime epidemic is out of control and it is affecting absolutely everyone. Shoplifting is so bad, you have to ask a cashier for detergent. There are security tags on cheese. It's no secret that Theresa May decided to cut 20,000 police officers. That meant that we shut a load of police stations. West Midlands has lost 76% of police stations in the last eight years. The total run by Scotland Yard has halved in the same time frame from 73 to 36, while more than 40% of stations have shut in both Staffordshire and Greater Manchester, leaving them with just 12 each. The best example of the breakdown in law and order is this. A police station in Streatham closed and was turned into a million pound cannabis farm. There have been cuts, but the police don't help themselves. Outrageous two tier policing during the Palestine protests. <laughs> Letting themselves get sexually touched up at a carnival. There we are. I mean, right. Or dancing the Macarena at a gay pride event. There we are. Lovely stuff, isn't it? Fantastic. And that's before we've got started on taking the knee for Black Lives Matter, isn't it? Now, we are struggling to recruit armed police officers in case they end up on trial for murder after they discharge their weapons in the line of duty. So, yes... We do have weak, woke policing at times, but the real problem is actually much bigger than that. The animals have taken over the zoo, and this isn't going to get better anytime soon, is it?